To access the new course reserves form, go to the Read About Music Library's website, go to the Services menu, and select Course Reserves. Step one is to fill out the reserves form, and it's right here. You click on this link, and it will download the reserves form, which you can then open in Microsoft Excel. Here's what the form looks like. You can add your course name, number, your name, and the semester here so that we have all the discrete information about your particular course. And this helps us to keep records for, say, if you ever teach this course again and you would like to see your list, we can just pull it up very easily by your name and the semester and the course title. There are a series of columns here with different information, call numbers or sources, uh, call numbers for those items which are held in the collection, sources for those items that are held online, uh, title, author, the length of the loan, which actually you can select length of loan from this drop-down list. You'll see there's two hour, four hour, three days, one week, and if something is headed to ICON, it doesn't have a length of loan, it just will be hosted on ICON. And if you are asking for us to add an online resource, whether it's a streaming audio file uh, or video file, uh, an article from a journal or an ebook chapter, uh, if you can provide us with the permanent or durable URL here in this link category. So let's take a look at just how to add a basic book to this list. Say I wanted to add this book on Brahms and his four symphonies. I'm just going to come over here and we'll copy the title. I am not. And lastly, the call number. All right. And for this item, because it's actually, I'm placing a physical book on reserve, I do want to select a length alone. I'm just going to go ahead and select two hours for this example. What if I wanted to place an ebook on reserve? I think down here we have the Cambridge Companion to Brahms, and we have this both in the library as a physical copy, but we also have it online. So I could say in the form, this is part of the Cambridge Companions collection, and if you ever need to see what online resource something is coming from, you can see Cambridge Companion's complete collection is what's listed here when you click on the Find Online button. And the Cambridge Companion to Brahms. You know, I can't spell Brahms. We have our editor listed right here. And for this, I'm not going to select a length of loan that's an actual length. I'm just going to say, hey, I want this to be linked to on my icon site. And to help us out, you'll see here that there's a URL up here. But if you can find something that's down in the actual record, they're usually shorter and more stable. I can just copy that link address and add that into the box. But say I wanted to actually put a chapter from this item on reserve and not the entire item. How would I do that? So you would still say, you know, it's the Cambridge uh, Collection. And I still need the title of the book. But I'm going to add some additional information into this field. I'm going to also add the title of the chapter that I want. So say I wanted Brahms and his audience, the later Viennese years. So it's pretty simple, it's clear there's a book chapter inside of this book that I would like to have linked to, and there's Leon Botstein. And again, you're going to want this link posted on your icon site, and there is the URL for this particular chapter, as opposed to the entire book. And that is an online book chapter that's been added. You can also request up to one chapter of a book, a print book, to be scanned and added to your icon site. Say that you were going to actually scan in this chapter from the Cambridge Companion. If we didn't have it as an ebook, I could have that. And that would be the same. I would instead place the call number there. So let me go back to the record here and find our library copy. Here's our call number for that library copy.
And in this case, I will still say that it's headed to icon because I want the chapter scanned and added to my icon site. But you don't have to provide the link because we will have to do that uh, when we upload it to your site. So that's how to handle books and book chapters, both electronic and print. Let's take a quick look at how to add sound recordings. So we'll stick with Brahms symphonies, and let's start with items that are actually in the library. So you'll see if you scan down, these are all online recordings. To get over to my actual CDs, I'm going to click Available in the library. And we're going to pass these multiple version things. Let's say we wanted to grab a selection from this CD. I'm going to start with the call number. Sorry, I'm a stickler for formatting. It just looks so much better and reads far easier. I'm going to click into the details. What tracks do I actually want off of this? Let's say I just want Symphony Number 3. Then I can place this here. And I know it's... And for CDs, again, we will rip the tracks you need from the CDs and stream them on your icon site. So you can just add icon and we provide the link so you don't have to worry about that. So that's how you would be able to add um, a, a track or two or three or however many from a CD that is held in our collection. If you wanted us to put links from say a Noxos recording or something from Classical Music Library up, I'm going to go ahead and click into this record. So here we have this is from Noxos. We're going to go ahead and click over to Noxos. Say I just want symphony number two from this. Instead of the call number, I'm just going to put Noxos Music Library. We've got good old Brahms again. I want this to go into Icon. And I want to see the static URL for this work. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that and drop it in. And that's how you can add a physical CD and also online recordings to your request list. One last thing, if you, say, have an open access resource, something that isn't behind a paywall that we pay for, um, you want to put something up from YouTube, you can do that as well. So I really like this video. It shows an engraver at Henley. It's really cool. If you've not seen it, I recommend watching. It's pretty amazing. But we're going to go ahead and copy the title of that video. And that's published by Henley. And I would like this to be posted on Icon Site. So that's a brief overview of how to add items to this list. We've added 100 slots to the list, um, but you can always add more. That's, that's pretty easy to do. You can just copy and paste a new line in easily enough, or you can grab the corner and drag down, and it will add additional rows to the, the list. If you submit a list and then you realize, oh, I'd like to add a handful more things. What I would recommend is just adding to the list you've already submitted, but maybe for the new items, go ahead and highlight them in yellow or some other sort of highlight color so we know what's new, and then tell our course reserves manager that, uh, that you've done so. And once you're done compiling the list, just save it to your machine and go ahead and mail it into the libmusic at UIowa email account so that we can get started pulling and compiling your reserves. I hope this has been a helpful video. If you have additional questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and best of luck assembling your reserves list. And thank you so much for using the form.